hi in this video let's look at few anti metabolites so we'll start with the question right so which of the following drugs is often combined with sulfamethoxazole for treatment of respiratory tract and urinary tract infections and the options amoxicillin ciprofloxacin clindamycin metronidazole and trimethoprim so we have a combination of sulfamethoxazole with trimethoprim it's called as cotrimoxazole right so let me just write down here cotrimoxazole it's a combination of sulfamethoxazole a sulfonamide and trimethoprim so in this video let's discuss few important points pertaining to uh, both sulfamethoxazole as well as trimethoprim so trimethoprim it's basically diaminopyrimidine so i'll just write down here this trimethoprim chemically it is diaminopyrimidine and it is related to anti malarial drug called pyrimethamine right so this trimethoprim has a selective affinity against dihydrofolate reductase enzyme it inhibits this enzyme present in the bacterial folate metabolism if you observe this flow chart here we have para aminobenzoic acid which forms dihydrofolic acid in presence of folate synthase and this in turn in presence of dihydrofolate reductase forms tetrahydrofolate acid right so this tetrahydrofolic acid it's mainly used for production of various cofactors that are essential for synthesis of either dna rna or even proteins right so this folic acid metabolism is very much essential and it happens in bacteria as well as in humans right so the advantage of using this trimethoprim is that it has more than 50000 times greater affinity for this dihydrofolate reductase present within the bacterial folate metabolism cycle metabolic cycle right so it has a very selective action against the bacterial dihydrofolate reductase right so that's uh, briefly about trimethoprim and also this combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim was introduced way back in 1969 so the advantage of this combination is that as you can see here sulfonamides usually inhibit this folate synthase enzyme whereas trimethoprim inhibits the next sequence right so there is sequential blockage of folic acid synthesis as a result these drugs are more effective against various bacteria which have resistance to one of the combinations either sulfonamide or trimethoprim right and most importantly the reason why we are selecting only sulfamethoxazole in combination with trimethoprim is that the half life of both these drugs is almost the same the half life of sulfamethoxazole oxazole as well as trimethoprim is approximately 10 hours right and also these drugs are given in a fixed dose combination it's a fixed dose combination in the sense the dose ratio between sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim is approximately 5 is to 1 so five parts of sulfamethoxazole with one part of trimethoprim and the reason why we are giving a lesser concentration lesser dose of this trimethoprim is that it has greater distribution in the tissues greater volume of distribution and it achieves lower plasma concentration right so for this reason we are giving it in a ratio of 5 is to 1 right so this cotrimoxazole it's a fixed combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim which has this sequential blockage in the bacterial folate metabolism and these drugs are selective to the bacterial folate enzymes rather than the mammalian enzyme so we have this folic acid cycle even in mammalian cells and they are relatively undisturbed so ultimately 
through this folic acid metabolism the there is formation of tetrahydrofolic acid which is essential for formation of various cofactors which are essential for synthesis of uh, various nucleic acids so ultimately what's happening when we are using these drugs they are blocking metabolites so these are considered as anti metabolites right and also remember that this sulfonamides they competitively inhibit folate synthesis in the sense they structurally resemble PABA and they compete with PABA for folate synthase and in the process block folate synthase through competitive inhibition whereas trimethoprim inhibits dihydrofolate reductase through competitive antagonism so these are some of the important points pertaining to anti-metabolites such as sulfonamides as well as trimethoprim